Hello again, my friends, and you are my friends, and welcome to a very special Talk To presentation from Talking Town. I am the Gov, you know me, I am founder of HDR Media and podcast host on the shows you see on this wonderful platform. Tonight, though, I've been hit by tonsillitis again. You might hear it in my voice. Uh, so I'm going to hand the reins over to two very capable, extremely talented and funny uh, individuals. Well, I would have done, but they were busy. So instead, I've got Rich and Matt to step in and speak to a player that I had just idolized growing up. A player that when I look back at that time, I do nothing but smile. I do nothing but remember the good times. And it just makes me smile thinking of this wonderful player. Before we get into today's Talk To special, a huge thank you to the following businesses that support Talking Town and make shows like this possible. Uh, Woodpecker Mortgages and Protection, Away Day Beers, both companies are run by ITFC fans, so be sure to go and check them out. Support a fellow ITFC fan. Uh, one combines the love of beer with the love of football, and the other could possibly help to save you money. Save money, buy more beer. Everyone's a winner. And of course, Ipswich Buses, go contact us on all routes. We also have a Ko-Fi our or and or a YouTube membership subscription service which you could take advantage of should you want to support this platform. The wonderful people on the screen right now have done so. So in addition to our businesses, truly, these are the backbone of Talking Town. These are the people that ensure talk to specials like tonight, Talking Town Sunday, and our very special one next week, which I can't say too much about, goes ahead. Right, Fabian Vilnis, Ab Fab, a great player, a great servant. Just as I said, memories, memories, memories. Let's get kicking, let's get running, and let's get in to tonight's special. As always, we welcome you to ask questions. The live chat is there. Please make the most of it. I will collect all of the questions up and I will reappear towards the end of tonight's special to try and ask Fabian the questions that you want answered. So ask in the, in the chat, get active, show him some love. But first of all, So meet the gang, cause the boys are here, the boys to entertain you. B-O-B-O-Y-S, boys to entertain you. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I'm on the own. Where oh, are you? Yeah. I know you are. <laughs> there are some technical issues here, Matt. I'm not sure. What's I know. I, I have know. got look my wonderful glass from Away Day's beer with a son of Santos. Oh, nice! So nice. very good. Uh, and you've come dressed appropriately. I like that. And also, I have come on my wedding anniversary. Yes. Now that's dedication for you, everybody. So, <laughs> where is the missus? <laughs> the love of my wife. <laughs> she, she's out she's out she's gone out with some friends for something to eat but um the love of my wife is sort of here but the love of my football club's a little, yeah. maybe a little bit higher but i'm saying yeah. it because she's not here matt and please do <laughs> she'll be watching this back later well we might as well bring in the star turn right now yeah he's on cloud nine isn't he fabian he's on cloud nine fine odd he's hometown club won last night in the uh is it the europa conference league matt yeah it is europa conference they, um, league Drew nil nil away at Marseille to reach the first European final since 2002. Yes. Listen, we look. We all love Fab. When he played, he came for 200,000. Played 323 games oh. in all competitions. Yeah. Six goals. He didn't score many goals. When he did score a goal, yeah, we all remember it. We all <laughs> remember it. And we also remember what he said about that lot up the road. We will get to that later. 15 new players. He did say that. <laughs> Here he is! How are you doing? Oh, what an intro, what an intro. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, by the way. Great to see you. And so tell everyone, yeah, final is your team. Yeah, final is my team. It's, uh, it's where I'm from. I'm from, uh, from Holland, from Rotterdam. It's my hometown. And last night, obviously, uh, final made it, made it to, the, to the semis. They played the semis. For the first time in 22 years, I think, 20, wow. 21 years. And wow. and they made it. They made it. I mean, they, they, they won the first leg, 3-2, at home against uh, Olympique Masai. 
And last night it was it was a bit nail biting, but uh, we made it to the end. We uh, we got a draw, a you no-no know, draw. So uh, the 25th of May we're gonna play wow. AS Roma wow. in uh, in Tir Tirana, Albania. Jose, Jose Radio. Yeah, Jose, Jose, Jose. yeah, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be something special, by the way. It's gonna be very special. Good luck. Special. We'll be cheering yeah, you yes, on. Yes, thank you. We'll thank you so much. Mm -hmm. well, it could be some good um, European finals, Fab, because obviously we had Rangers last night. Yeah, obviously, I know. We had the league final, we got Liverpool. Did you see the Manchester City game on Wednesday? I, 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 saw, I saw all the games. I, I watched uh, Liverpool on Tuesday. Uh, I mean, there was quite a, quite a scare the first half. But second yeah. half, they, you know, they just they, they, they did a normal routine and, you know, they, they made it to the end um, quite easily, uh, I must say, the second half then. And then uh, on Wednesday, I watched, uh, of, uh, of course, I watched uh, the Real Madrid game against uh, City. That was crazy, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, it's going to be an all-English um, um, Champions League final. But uh, Real Madrid, I don't know, I don't know what's, what's, what's happening with this year with the team. But they keep going, kept going, kept going. And still, you know, they, they made two goals in, 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 in the space of two minutes. So, do you think? Yeah. Do you think Man City just switched off there, Fabian? As a you know, as a former professional footballer, how can they go from you know ninety minutes they've kept a clean sheet, and then suddenly they've yeah. let two in, in like a minute? I know, I know, but this is this is probably something in the head. They think, okay, you know what? We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Um, uh, the moment they conceded the first goal, they probably, they probably, it's probably, I think it's quite normal. You know, as, as a football player, you're gonna think, oh no, is this is really gonna happen. Other guys can score. Other guys score another goal, and you know what? This is the room just got another goal in, in, in a space of, of one or two minutes, and then you're gonna think for oh no, we gotta have to play another 30 minutes, you know, for the for the uh for the extra time. Yeah. But Real Madrid they had the momentum going, so they kept going, and you know, and at the end of the day, you know, they made it to the finals. So it was, it was a big surprise, actually, yeah, because especially the first leg. I mean, City, they were they were quality, they were very, very yeah. good. Yeah, there's yeah. some slop, sloppy moments, but they were very good. They're very good this year, actually. They were 2 0 up, weren't they, in the first leg? And they've still yeah, not gone through to the final. It's mental. Yeah, 2 0 two up after 20 minutes, I think. Is it 20, yeah. Yeah. 11. 11. 11. Oh, 11 minutes. Oh, here yeah, we go. 11 11. So, four times, Fab, four times in that tie, they led by two goals. I know, I know. This is, oh, no, God. I mean, Pep Guardiola. He must be fuming because he's, he keeps trying and eats in every year, but it seems something is just, it's just not happening for him, you know, with City. Uh, really, it's, no. it's a real shame. Shows you, can have all, shows you can have all the money, but when it becomes 11 v 11 on the pitch sometimes, it becomes an even playing field, I guess. I know, I know, I know. So that's, that's a great thing about football, you know, that's why we love it all. <laughs> Talking about European success, Matt. Yeah. So uh, today's the day in 1981 when we played the first leg of the UEFA Cup final town wow. against AZ Altma. When you signed for town yeah. in 1999, what did you know about the history of the club? Did you know about the great Dutchman who played for town? Uh, yes, of course, because, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Frans Thijs and Arnold Müller, they were, they, were, they were big. They were very big, uh, um, in, in, um, also in Holland, of course, because they played they play for the national team. And uh, the great success, you know, with Israel Town. And this was the first time when I actually heard of Israel Town, you know, uh, through Frans Thijs and Arnold Müller. But uh, I think uh, uh, Romeo Sonnefen got me in, in touch, uh, in contact with, uh, with Israel Town uh, at the time. And it was quite a surprise for me, actually, because, you know, I didn't know there was any interest from, from town for, for me. Uh, the funny thing was that uh, I think in 1980, 1998, uh, probably somewhere around uh, Boxing Day, just before Boxing Day, a week before Boxing Day, um, we were playing Ace at Alkmaar, and I heard that George Burley was sitting in the stand, you know, to watch, to watch uh, I think, what he, he went for another player. And then he, uh, then he saw me play, and he was like, oh, okay, he's, he's, he's a good player. And uh, I think he came over once more, I think, or once more. And, uh, you know, the rest is history. He, he saw me, and he signed me up for, uh, for three years at the time, three and a half years. And uh, I stayed there for nearly ten. Did, did you play with Romeo at, at Breda, Fabian? Yeah, yeah, I played with him for for only a season because he's he's a, he's a bit older than me, um, and yeah, he's a great guy, he's a great guy, and you know, obviously he uh, he helped me a lot, you know, especially in the beginning when I just uh, time for Isha's time. 
Yeah, we, we was, were on the show Sunday, didn't we, Rich? Yeah, we had him. We had him. He was. He played. He made his debut in the first game, Fabian. I went to watch Town, nineteen eighty-four. So when we had him on Sunday, eighty-four. 1984 okay. was my first game. Yeah. So when we had him on Sunday, I always remember Romeo. He had lots of hair and yeah. he had a lovely moustache. Yeah. We had him on Sunday. He's got no moustache and he's got no hair. <laughs> <laughs> so just like me now. <laughs> yeah. You had some great hairstyles at town, didn't you? Yeah, you had some I great know, hairstyles. Yeah. Because the thing is, you know, with, 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 the, with the fans, they, they were quite curious, you know, each and every week. Uh was what, what, what sort of hairstyle I was, I, was, I was putting on, you know, if I was wearing and. Uh, on, on a mess day and um, you know you know me at the time you know i was just like i i, I just try something new every every now and again and it was kind of an um yeah kind of a game or a challenge or whatever to, to change my hairstyle every 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 young game <laughs> brilliant well look, where should we where should we start here rich should we, should we start with the great season in the premier league should we do that yeah, well, we can, we can, the, the first season obviously came you came to replace Tariko because he'd gone to spurs Matt, yeah. you know, he's yeah, a really good yeah. player. I remember when he went, the town fans weren't too happy. You, mm-hmm. you signed in January 99. And we obviously, we made the playoffs that season. Mm-hmm. But it was the away goals then, Matt. It was yeah. the last year of the away goals. Did you know that, I was talking to Colin the other day. Colin's in the chat, uh, Fabian. Colin has been watching town since 1964. And he literally knows everything. So he told wow. me a stat the other day that it was David Sheepshanks who got the away goals rule scrapped. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because oh. we're losing by it. Because <laughs> oh, we'd, 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 we'd had a couple of seasons where we, obviously, to Bolton, we lost to the first season, you yeah. yeah. at Town. Yeah. I think we'd lost before to Sheffield United, Matt, I think, yeah. a couple of yeah. years ago when we sort of just got in the playoffs. So, yeah. And then, obviously, the next season is, it benefited us, didn't it? Because, obviously, yeah. Yeah. Bolton. I mean, I mean, um, it was the the playoff, uh, the first 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 game in the playoffs against against Bolton. Yeah, and I think away we drew. Is it two all? Two two. Yeah, yeah two two. two, two yeah. yeah, and and then and then uh, at home we were uh, we were losing three two, and then I think Jim Matilda scored a, uh, the three uh, equalizer yeah. in the very last minute. Yeah. And then we got into extra time, and then oh, Jim, he was on fire that day. By the way, <laughs> it's unbelievable how good he was. He was so so good. Probably the, the, the best game he played for the for town, you know. But yeah, um, yeah um, we won five three. Was five three? Yeah, yeah, five three. Five three. Yeah, and then we crazy, yeah. crazy night was it? Barry Knight, three penalties we had. He sent two Bolton players off. I watched yeah. the highlights Fab, the other day. It was on mm-hmm. a, uh, Granada, so the Northern. Channel of ITV. And yeah, they yeah. interviewed Paradise after the game. I, I, still, he, not Granada. I still not Granada, yeah. He was so <laughs> angry with the Paradise was angry, wasn't he? Really angry, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I always think back to when we were 2-0 down at the Reebok, Fabian, and like I had like tears rolling down my face because this was a team that deserved to be promoted automatic and it was falling apart away from home on that sunny day. And then we and then Marcus Stewart did his thing, didn't he? The two goals. Yeah, but Mark Stewart, you know, that season, and also the, his first year in the Premier League, he was unbelievable. He was so good. Every, everything he touched, touched him into goals, you know. Every time he yeah, yeah. touched the ball, he, he, he scored a goal. And sometimes, there was a crazy thing with Marcus. Um, you won't see him for 80 minutes or 85 minutes, and then he had one chance, just one chance, and he yeah. scored, and we go away with a winner. That, yeah. that, that was Marcus, but he was so important for us, and such a good player, very skillful player. Do you think he was unlucky not to play for England that season? Yeah, I think he was. So. He was, think, the, he was the, the um, top scoring so. English player that because season. I think he, he was. He was a joint leading top scorer. You know, in, in, yeah. I think Jimmy Floyd. I think Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank yeah. was a top scorer, and I think Marcus was second. I think got nineteen. Oh, you're second. Okay, yeah, nineteen. Yeah, yeah. So I think it was uh, um, for the for the for the Englishman. He was the, he was the best scoring Englishman in the, in the Premier League. So it was yeah. quite strange. And I was I was hoping and rooting, you know, for him to get a call to get a call up, you know, for England. But uh, unfortunately, no, he never got one. So yeah. it's a real shame. It's a big, big shame. When you, when you joined town, Fabian, did you like, you know, we asked Martin Royce in this question. One minute you're in Holland, enjoying yeah. your life there. Next minute you're in East Anglia. I mean, it was like a huge culture change, presumably. <laughs> I mean, and, and I it changed your life, I guess. I mean, did you did you find it hard to settle in or was it was it quite easy? Um, well, it wasn't that hard, in, in all fairness. It was just like different uh, mentality in a way. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't really that hard now. Um, it was a surprise, you know, that, that everything went so quick. 
because uh, one moment I was in Holland and uh, because I came in the, in the, in a in winter break in the, in the Dutch winter break and yeah. the next moment I was playing for I was playing for town and I think uh, we you know with the talk with you know with the, with the manager this, this, everything went so quick and within a week I had to move home from Holland to, to, to the UK no, I, did, I think it was probably three days I had to move home wow. from Holland to the UK so that was quite quite a, quite a shock actually yeah, but uh, no it's just, just uh, I mean everyone at the club the, the players you know they 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 were they were so so kind to me and they uh, yeah they kind of embraced me from the from, from the very first moment, moment onwards oh. Yeah, but who who did you hit it off with to begin with? Who was like who, who took you under their wing a little bit? Uh, well, the, the, the Bobby Petter was playing there, and, of course, uh, yeah, Mark and Holster, so that was quite handy, you know, just to do yeah. to, 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 to players, and um, uh, especially Bobby, you know, he, he took me on the on the wing because Bobby was playing um, uh, more or less every week. Yeah, and, you speak to him and, and, now. You speak to Bobby Petter now? No, no, not at all. He's a I DJ. Mean, I think he's a DJ. I'm talking about thirty years ago, nearly. <laughs> So this is it's a while. No, he's a DJ. A long, yeah, no, twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. Yeah, he's a DJ now, Fabian, in clubs. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. This is a big surprise for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you always find? <laughs> Did you always find that Ipswich was miles away from anywhere else? So you know, when you're on the bus yeah. going to the oh, away yeah. game. Oh yeah. So every, far to travel. Every away game was just like, oh my god, this this, this seems like you know, we, we we were stuck in the middle of nowhere. And also, even even away teams, they were saying that you know to, to us <laughs> when, when they when they were coming to Portman Road, they were just like, oh man, it's risky. Okay, okay, you think you're you're in London. Okay, you're yeah. nearly there, and then you have to drive for another hour to get to, 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 get to Ipswich. Cool. So there was, uh, you know, for a lot for a lot of teams, you know, there was just like, uh, yeah, just let me look nowhere, apart cool. from yours, of course. And your your first goal, Fabian, for town was against Swindon in that that six yeah. nil away win. That's a hell yes. of a hit. I was watching that earlier. That's I a know, great. Yeah, I, I, I know. I, I haven't scored many goals for Easter Town. I, uh, I think in, in the intro they said six goals in three hundred right. something games. But uh, I can still remember each and every goal of, of myself, of course. <laughs> it was uh, a great scored... celebration as well. You like that? Yeah, <laughs> but th th that's the thing, you know, when you, when, you, when you hardly score any goals, you don't know how to celebrate. You've got to go you for it, haven't you? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was left footed as well, Matt. That was a it left was. footed one. Yeah, it was. Yeah, right that's the through ball, edge of the box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it. Great mm -hmm. right goal. Yeah, it, it was a great hit, yeah. Similar, to, oh, quite similar to the one to when I scored against North, North City, yeah. So yeah, also, yeah. We'll come uh, to that later. We'll come to that. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously, uh, you played in that first leg against Bolton at the Reebok, but you didn't play in the second game, did no, you? No, I didn't play. No, no. He, he, he picked uh, Gary Croft at the time. Oh, Gary Croft, yeah. Yeah, Gary Croft was uh, uh, was my uh, competition, and I was I was I was fuming. I was like, why? You know, because I was I kind of played uh, more or less um, every game in during the season. Yeah. Especially yeah. that that game, you know, uh, against against Bolton Wanderers, the final the final game before 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 the before the yeah the Wembley game, and he uh, he didn't play me, so I was I was uh, I was very disappointed, yeah, very disappointed. Yeah, so going back to sure. Gary Croft, Matt. Yeah. What do you remember about him when he had his tag? Do you remember when he? I don't. <laughs> what, I watched. What, what did the last thing when he got in trouble? You know, he signed, didn't he? he signed. He hadn't yeah. been to the club, long, and then he's he's yeah. um he's got a long 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 long. I think I went to. Um, I think it was Sheffield United. Might have been his first game with the tag, and I remember you could see it for the top. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we were kind of taking the Mickey out of Gary, you know, at, at the time. But th th that is normal, normal football, football stuff, you know, uh, cool. dressing room stuff. Uh, what what happened? But uh, um, I can remember we had an um, we had a Christmas party. I think we had a Christmas party, yeah, with uh, with the team, and we went away. But Gary Crawford. Obviously, he wasn't allowed to, to come wasn't with that because he was, to, yeah, yeah he, was, he was, he was, he was sick. But we had a cardboard, a cardboard in, 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 a, in a big stuff cardboard with, with Gary, Gary Cross' face on it. And everywhere we went, we went Gary Cross with us. He, he was still with us in, uh, in, in his spirit. But it was, it was quite funny. <laughs> was it, was it difficult, Fabian, to, like, you didn't play as, as Richard in that second leg? Was it, was it difficult to, I don't know, but you want the team to do well, but you wish you was out there as well, don't you? It's, you're kind of yeah, compromised of a little bit. Yeah, of course. I mean, as a player, you want to you want to play every game, especially the big games. Yeah. You want to, you want to be involved. Uh, but uh, the second game, I didn't even he didn't even um, uh, brought me on as a sub. But I must say, the whole uh, the whole uh, atmosphere and the whole uh, spirit 
and of course I was rooting, you know, for the for the for the for the for the whole team and 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 and, and for the good result. But it was so tense that game. It was, yeah, it, it was. I don't know. It was so even on the bench, I could feel it. It was just so so yeah. tense. And the, the, I mean, the game keep keep changing um, um, every minute. So, but I I, I just I kind of uh, also was playing the game. You know, even even when I was sitting on the bench, I was still playing the game. And you know, I, I, of course, I was disappointed, but I was obviously also very happy that that we got through. And, and we made it to, to to the finals. It was it was really tense that game. I remember when yeah. when Royce scores the the, the winner, loads of yeah. people jump, strangers jumped on my yeah. back. I got squashed. Went down about five rows. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. But Martin Royce, oh my mate Martin, yeah, he was uh, he was so important for the you know for the, for, for town as well. Um, Great signing, yeah. He scored some some very important goals for you know for us at the time, mm. and he was, he was a good player and a good mate. Did you did you know him before he signed for town? Was he a name you knew of already? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Because um, he uh, he was playing for uh, for Ajax, and he played a few games in the first team. But yeah. before he was also playing for Vitesse Arnhem, and I don't think I've played against him uh, at the time. But uh, I knew I knew I knew his name. Yeah. So you you helped him bed in when he arrived, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing, same thing. But Bobby Bobby better did, did, did to me. I did, I did yeah. to him. Yeah. Because yeah, I was yeah. here for I think it was three or. Four Three years or two, three years or four years. Yeah. No, oh, sorry, two, two years when 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 uh, when they signed Martin. So yeah, it's yeah. always he was, he was handy. He was another one who Romeo recommended to the club. Pardon? He was another one who Romeo recommended to town. Yo, Romeo has done a good job, by the way. <laughs> we had him on, we had, when he was talking, when we had him on um, last weekend, he was telling us now about Brexit because obviously it's changed now, Fab. With with Dutch players coming over to England, the, the rules yeah. have changed. So. It's probably, oh, yeah, it? hasn't it, Matt? He said it would be difficult now for Ipswich to sign uh, players, uh, yeah. you know, and to get in bargain signings like yourselves. Yeah, um, yeah. Because of the because of the new Brexit rules, he said it would be very difficult for Ipswich now. So what, maybe what, they'd have to I mean, why, why, why is that then? Because they yeah, I'm not sure. Different. I don't know if it's. I don't know if like the the the, the fees will go up or whatever it might be. Yeah. I don't know. But Rome, Romeo felt it was a a difficult thing because I think Martin Reuter had said that. He would like mm -hmm. to help Ipswich yeah. find that new generation of, you know, of a new Fabian, a new Romeo, a new Royce, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really strange because I spoke to Martin uh, not too long ago. I think it's probably uh, two or three weeks ago, and he he, uh, he, he went to the um, uh, former players' dinner uh, at yeah. the time. I, I right. couldn't make yeah, it. Sure. Martin, Martin went there, and he came. He, he, he phoned me before if I could go, but I couldn't make it because I'm coaching on uh, the 18 teams for Sparta for them. And I couldn't make it. So, um, and afterwards, he uh, uh, again he called me up. He said, you know, he would like to help us, help the team, help help Town yeah, yeah. to uh, bring uh, to bring young talent, to talented player over to the, you know, to the to the, to the club. So, who, who knows what the future might bring? Hopefully, because you know, if we can get well, a new breed in, that'd be great. The thing is, you know, I'm 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 coaching. Uh, Sp I'm I'm the manager of, of the coach of Sparta Rotterdam on the 18th, on the 18th. And I've got some really good, good talented players in, in my team. Yeah. Really young, young players. You know, who, who I'm not sure if, if they're gonna make it to the, you know, the, to the first team of Sparta, but you, you know, you, know, you never know. You never know. You never know. Maybe it's else. around the corner. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You still follow Town Fab because obviously we are not doing that well now. We're in. In, the third in all fairness, uh, I mean, I, I was following Town. Um, um, Let's have, a, let's have a look. Uh, last last season, the season before, and the beginning of the season, and then uh, I don't know why I stopped, stopped following them. And the, the results weren't so great, especially in the beginning. I was like, "Wow, what's going on?" I think the first uh, first five games I only got only got two points or something like that. Yeah. And then I just stopped stopped following the following town, and I was like, "Oh no, here we go again. So it's another another season like that." So no, uh, I, I don't know any of the players now. I don't know. It's, 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 it's the whole new, it's the whole new team, whole new sports. I don't know any of any of the names. So this is really, really strange. To, do you, do you to, feel a uh, tinge of sadness, Fab, knowing that you've you've played in Europe for town, you played in the Premier League yeah. for town, and then suddenly mm -hmm. we're in the third tier? I mean, that would have been unthinkable back in your time, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, I know, I know. It's, it's, it's really sad because each year, you know, the beginning of the season, um, I'm I'm hoping, I'm rooting. Okay, now you know they're going to get go up, they're going to get promoted. Especially for the last, is it the third year now, second year, third year? Uh, it's going to be the fourth year, fourth year, fourth year already. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Hello. Oh Time flies. 
<laughs> yeah, Dumb's, Dumb definitely be flying. Yeah, they played, played yeah. these big teams like Cheltenham and Fleetwood and <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I was Forest like... Green Rovers, Fabian. Oh, you, have you ever heard of Forest Green of, Rovers? Of, uh, oh, oh. That, was, that was unthinkable. Yeah, that was really unthinkable. But you know, um, what's going to happen with what's, what's going to happen with the team next season? Then do you know? Because... Well, we got we got we got taken over by American ownership, so they've put a lot of okay. money into the club, Fabian. So we, off the field, it's going pretty well. We have got a really good CEO called Mark Ashton. Okay. He really knows, you know, he's kind of a different figure to, you know, the Marcus Evans era. And he knows the game mm -hmm. inside out. So we're actually mm -hmm. in a good place off the pitch. We just need to, I don't know, we just we just need to get that team together, that team spirit yeah, together. Yeah. And, you know, we've got Kieran McKenna as our new manager, who came yeah, from yeah. the coach from Man United. So he's been around mm -hmm. the block. Yeah, so we've got all the pieces in place. Is, is, is he a good manager? Yeah, he's, he's, he's yeah he seems well to be. He, he seems like a very, yeah, technical, kind of technical coaching style manager. Okay. and. Okay. You know, the crowds have been fantastic, Fab. We, we played Charlton. Yeah. It was the last league game of the season. And we had nothing to play for, 11th in the league. And we had 26,000 down Yeah, there. big crowds. Oh, still my having. God, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'm gobsmacked, actually, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything off the pitch is going great. we just got to get it the, the team right, that's all. Yeah, but the thing is, you know, with town, um, I'm speaking about my time then, the, the, the support, you know, from the fans, they were always... There was also, 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 also every every home game was, was there was a big crowd. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah they were great times. Yeah, yeah, there was there was, there was uh, they were when we got to the Premier League, Fabian. They were like we never thought we'd see those. Like you talk about Muren and Tyson and the great Bobby Robson team and all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We never thought we'd ever get back into Europe again. And then suddenly, <laughs> they yeah, <were> up. <laughs> yeah, in our very first Premier League. League. Yeah, in the Premier League, it was unbelievable. I mean, I, I remember the. Um, I don't think you played in the first game, did you, at Tottenham? Were you injured that day or something? Uh, no. Uh, I think, again, he, he, he picked Gary Croft. Oh. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, Gary Croft was playing, you know, that game. But yeah. then we the did second that. game against Man United, on a, oh, there was a, oh, a, a Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah, yeah he, picked, he picked me. And then since then, I've, I've played more or less every game in the Premier League. Yeah. Martin. I wonder why. <laughs> Martin, roll the, roll the footage, please. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some footage here, Fabian, of, of uh, a certain goal. I think everyone oh, yeah. in the chat will sort of remember this. You probably remember this like it was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I can, I can always remember that goal. This you was know, like that was an unbelievable goal. I can still remember Fabian dancing around at the top tier of the um, Pioneer yeah. Stand. So that I, I still remember your knee slide. You done a knee slide and you took a massive bit of turf out. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly face planted for. I know, I know, I know. I, I mean, Alan, Ferg, Alan Ferguson, a groundsman at the time, you know, he, he wasn't too happy about it. <laughs> no, no, but that's the thing. Well, you know, what, what, what I've told you before, I hardly score any goals. And I mean, I think uh, the day before, I just found, kind of figured out that, that I was about to start, you know, against Man United. And Man United, you know, at the time, they had, uh, they had big players, Yapstam, Bartes, Beckham, uh, Giggs, just name it, you know, yeah. Keane, Scholes, all the all the all the big all the big players, you know, they were they were playing um, uh, that day. Here he comes! Uh, Here he comes, Fab! Here he comes! Oh, oh my He's God! your moment. Plenty of experience in him. Look at it. You'll be you're in acres of space in a second, aren't you? Yeah. I left Giggs behind me. Yeah? Right. Oh, yeah. Here we go! Great touch. Here he comes. Yes, get in there, get in there. Can he still remember it well? Oh my god, a celebration. Oh. <laughs> I'll do something about it, yeah. <laughs> Why'd they leave you unmarked like this? Look at what an error. Yeah. Look at that. Great. I know. Oh, oh, so. Happy days, happy days. <laughs> oh, um, I just remember Alex Ferguson saying that night, Fab, about the crowd. He said it was like, I think yeah. it was just over 20,000. He said it was like, 22. Yeah, 40, yeah. 20, yeah. 20, there was like 40,000 in that ground. It was so that, loud. The, the, the noise, the noise that that night, and especially evening games, you know, it seems like the, the, the noise is just a little bit louder than, than during the day. But we have waited so long for this moment, you know, the very first home game in the, in the Premier League, and then also against Man United. That was something special. And then also to get a result uh, out, of, out, of, out, of, you know, out of the game, just something, something very special, yeah. So, and I to remember. I feel that really kick-started the season, didn't it? Because we'd obviously lost yeah. to the Spurs 3-1, having taken the lead. Yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, how's your luck, innit? You got Spurs on the opening day, then you got yeah. Man United, and then yeah. suddenly we get we take a point from them. I mean, I think I feel like that goal for having you scored was kind of lift off for the season a little bit. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, because um, Josh Murley, the man, uh, our manager at the time, he um, 
we saw the three, we saw the three fixture ga- fixture games uh, uh, against Spurs first game, United second game, and I think it was Sutherland Sunday, third, yeah. and then the way yeah. third. And every and he was he, he was asking each and every play, you know, okay, how many points do you reckon we can we can get out of the three games? Some 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 said three, some said two, <laughs> others said uh, maybe five or four. <laughs> no one said none. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, actually, I was thinking, for, okay, maybe four. I think four would be, you know, yeah. uh, uh, very good because I was thinking oh, maybe a point away at Spurs, Man United home. It's going to be tricky, you know, yeah, because cool. because they, I think they, they, they want to triple, you know, this season. Before, uh, yeah, before. champion. Yeah, yeah, and then and then against Sunderland, you're probably going to get a, get a win. So I was thinking, okay, maybe four points. It was like, no, no, no. We're gonna get uh, uh, nine points out of the first three games. <laughs> everyone, everyone's looking at him like, "Yeah, right." <laughs> <laughs> but he has such belief in the players and in, in 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 the team, and it was just this, yeah, this is unbelievable how he managed us. You know that that season. Well, yeah. that, that Sunderland game you talk about because obviously Titus scored in that game, didn't he? Ran like yeah. the length of the pitch. Had he been mm-hmm. training you guys? The season before, because he came out of nowhere, kind of thing, didn't he, Rich, to play that Spurs game? He on the played, I think he played a couple of games, and he? he played a game mm-hmm. away at Sheffield United. Titus played Matt, I think. When I think Sir Massey Abu scored that day, we won two one. It was oh, on God. Sky. I think it was yeah. a Sunday, yeah. but he hadn't mm-hmm. hardly played Titus. I remember he was he was on the corner. Or he was on when you went out with the trophy. Yeah, yeah. He was there. <laughs> I, remember, I remember that he was there, okay. wasn't he? Yeah, Titus. Titus. Uh, was his first first goal for the for Ipswich Town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah what was, goal? Yeah, it was his first oh, goal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, Tyus, um I, I kind of uh, imagine he would he would have you know a great career uh, uh, in in a sense that he would probably join Arsenal or or or, yeah. or, or not a big a big club, you know. But uh, I don't know. He just had he just had that season. He was great, but then after he went to Sunderland, I think. No. Uh, or, no, he Newcastle. Newcastle. Newcastle, sorry, Newcastle. Newcastle. Sorry, my, yeah. my bad. Yeah, he, he played something as well, yeah. And, and, yeah. and then, then every now and again, he, he, he just a slight, slight, slight little, little mistake, you know, every now and again. And that, yeah. that's why people were doubting him. But, but I thought I thought he was a great player. Especially yeah, when he came on the team. He had all the attributes, didn't he? He was like huge. He, he, he was huge. He was, he, was, he was very quick as well, you yeah. know, for, for, for his body, but he was very quick. Yeah, uh, his timing was great. You know, he it it, it could head it, could head a ball, he could tackle. He had everything, he had just everything. But it's just yeah. like sometimes a little lack of concentration, I think, or maybe I don't know. But um, yeah, he was, he was, he was, he was, uh, he was good for, he was good for us, yeah. very good for us. Did you, did you have a good relationship with George Burley then? Bab? What was he like <laughs> as a manager? Was he, was he kind of like a strict manager? Was he quite laid back or? Uh, it, was, it was going well until he subbed you away at Helsingborgs that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that's the thing. Um, I, I had a very good rela- uh, relationship, you know, with Josh Brady when I came when I came to uh, to Issus Town. And the problem was, I was I was a, I was a right fullback, right wing back, and Josh Brady was also a right fullback, right wing back. Cool, yeah, and that? and every time, you know, he wants he wanted me sometimes to play exactly like him, but. I'm a different player than you know. I'm not Josh Burley, and Josh Burley is Josh Burley is not famous in Vilnius. I got my own style, and yeah. he's, he had his style. But then he said, "Well, yeah, you have to, you have to play like you have to do like this, you have to do, you have to do like that." And then I was like, "Yeah, but I, you know, I'm Fabian. You know, I just play my own my own thing. You know, I like to go up and down, and you know, do my own thing, a little yeah. step over, or things like that." And sometimes, you know, in in in, in, in training, he's like, "Okay, now." Just move, move aside. I'll show you. I'll show you. And I was like, huh? "Why?" <laughs> but uh, that's why he was also, uh, I think, in my eyes, uh, a little bit more critical uh, towards yeah. me or any right back than, yeah. than towards any 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 other player on the pitch. Yeah. And uh, but that also keeps keeps you sharp, keeps you alert, keeps you you know keeps you very much on your toes. And there was also Josh Burley. Yeah, he's you're you're the, much um, more athletic than him. <laughs> I'm not saying, he's I mean, Chris Making, he Chris Making, didn't he, Fabian? Sorry? That second season, Chris Making come in. Yeah, Chris Making. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. When, when you have a replacement coming in for you, how does that make you feel when you hear that Town is signing another right back? I mean, that's football. That's football. You know, it's mm. happened every, every, you know, everywhere. You know, not not just at Town, but also with, with any, any other team. You know, 
uh, the club wanna wanna progress, they wanna improve, and they they will bring in new players. Even if you're doing you're doing quite well, they're still gonna bring in new players. But it's, it's up to you to compete and to comp you know to compete against the the guy who they, who they, who they, who they, who they brought who they brought in. But um, you, you just can't 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 stop it. Just look at the Premier League. They got so many so many quality players, and but they still they still sign another quality player in. And I'm thinking, from, you know, why? Because you've you've already got that player, that player, that player. But still, you're going to bring in another another player in. But that's, 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 that is more like football. You must have the competition mm -hmm. to, to get the best out of you. Squad, it's all about squad depth, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah exactly. Especially, especially in the Premier League. I mean, in the, in the, in the Championship, okay, you know, some sometimes it's debatable, but in a, in a, in a Premier in a Premier League, yeah. it, it, it's a must. It's a must. What, what what was the secret ingredient, Fab? Do you think it was that town surprised everyone to finish fifth? Because no one thought we were going to finish fifth, did they? And in the European spots, and no, no, you know, I think if she's, it's still the only team rich to have done that, isn't it? To come out of the championship. Yeah, we, yeah we're still the um, the highest placed team to come from the championship. Yeah. The yeah, finish. really. Finish oh, gonna... Okay. Yeah. I think you, you you just said it before, you know. No one no one kind of expect us, you know, to, to do this so well. Everyone's gonna think for oh, it's your style, you know, they came from they came from the championship. Um it's gonna it's gonna be a walk over uh, against them, you know. But I think after the main United game at home, when, when, when we when we believed and when we when we saw that we that we can get a result you know, against a team like that. You know, the 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 the, the belief and the, the confidence in the in the group, in the squad just grew every every minute. And every game, you know, doesn't matter who we were playing, we were playing Arsenal, we were playing Liverpool or whatever, we we, we definitely knew that we could win the game. And not even not even get, get, get a get a point out of it. No, we could actually win the game. And that was the confidence you have, you know, when you when you get a momentum going. And yeah, absolutely. The, the season there was just an unbelievable unbelievable uh, uh, momentum. So what the, changed um, what changed from the first season? Mm -hmm. The second season was it that Richard Wright went, um, Scowcroft went. They were replaced by obviously Matteo Torini come in, Finini mm -hmm. George. Did that sort of disrupt the group a little bit? Because they'd obviously been at the club for a long, long time, hadn't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's also part of it. Uh, I mean, the, the new players would have brought in. The kind how of, old was uh, Finini? We need to know how old <laughs> Finini George was. <laughs> Martin Royce would have told us. <laughs> I don't. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got no comment. But I think um, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, are thinking that he was a bit older, actually, than 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 you know than, than what he's what he what he what he, what he said he was. But I honestly don't know. Honestly, don't know. He was a great but, play. You look at that I goal. Like you the goal he scored against Sunderland, man. Yeah, yeah. No, he was great. I loved oh, Fellaini. Oh, yeah, Fellaini, he was he was a good player. He was a good player. Um, but but the, the thing is, you now he only had, you know, in 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 probably defense in the fence point of fence point of view and in George yeah. point of view, a few a few a few good games. But uh, you know, he's, he, sometimes the quality he showed in, in you know in, in, on a training ground, it was like wow, you could, you could really tell he's a quality player. It's yeah, very yeah. Good player. You remembered him from the that Ajax team, of course. The the yeah. that one the European Cup. The, that the one the European Cup, yeah. Yeah. Um, in, yeah. Uh, in, Ninety-five. Yeah, uh, you know, he was playing on the right wing. He was just, just just taking every every left 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 defender on, and he was whipping whipping balls in just for fun. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I Do mean, you Finidi, Finidi. Do you remember his debut, Fab, against Derby County at home? Oh, mate. His yeah, oh, I know, incredible. I, know. That I thought <laughs> what a play. That was one of the games, Matt. When I would say, if you're giving someone a rating out of ten, he was yeah, a ten that night. Yeah, he, yeah, was, yeah. he was definitely a ten. But Derby, if you look, but but just to, just to go back to the, you know what's to what what went wrong in the second season. I... Oh, oh, that means frozen. What went wrong that second season? Oh, we we'll bring him back. Still okay? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. What went wrong with the second season? You, he left us at the yes, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. The second season. Uh, I mean. Um, uh, the, the club just really brought in uh, a lot of a lot of other uh, new players, but the, the first year uh, in the Premier League, once a month we just went out with the whole group, with the, with the whole with the whole team. We now we now uh, go just out for a meal or go 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 bowling, karting or whatever, or just 
this 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 is something something fun, you know, with with the players. And it was just a, just a regular thing, uh, once once a month or once every two months. So the team, everyone gelled. Even even the the, the, the play we don't really speak to, you know, uh, 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 we, 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 we don't are uh, big friends with. Everyone still gelled. But the second season, second season, with the new players, they just this didn't gel with the team. They, they, they just went to the training ground and they just went straight home. When we organized something, they, 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 they never came along. Oh. And that was that was that was really strange. And you could really feel it also in uh, in 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 the, in the bonding in the group in the group bonding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't quite and have the, the same team spirit, I guess. It, it was it wasn't really the same uh, team spirit as as, uh, as as in the first year. And also, the expectations were very high. Yeah. When you, and when you're fifth in the, in the, in the, you know the Premier League in your first first year, everyone expects the same thing. You know, the year after. But it doesn't work like that, you know, because gotcha. uh, everyone knew that okay, you know, it's racist town. It's the, the one to watch. So there was there was especially extra prepared, you know, to play against us, you know, extra, extra motivated. Well, I suppose Matt, like like Fabian says there, you know, like I said, you had Richard Wright and you had Scowcroft, who'd been they'd come through the academy. They knew what it yeah. meant to play for town, you know. That yeah. they've got that yeah. DNA, it fits DNA. And like like yeah. when they go, yeah. did you think Richard yeah. Wright should have stayed at town, Fabian? Because he obviously he went to Arsenal. Yeah. And it never really worked out for him, sort of his career after he left town. Yeah, well, okay, you have to be really honest with me. Okay, you play for town your whole your whole life, and then Arsenal uh, come in, you know, knocking on your door. Do you do you do you do you, you want to play for us? Wait, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I suppose David Seaman was there at the time, wasn't he? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I remember that season, Matt. When he went to Arsenal, Richard Wright, he played every game in the FA Cup, didn't he? Until yeah, he did. the final. Yeah, yeah, he did. yeah, yeah. But yeah. But, but, but Wright, he was also knocking on the door of, of, of the England, uh, England yeah. squad. Yes. Yeah. So this, he was thinking, okay, you know, I'm just, just going to go to Arsenal, you know, the bigger club. I'm going to be, going to be more exposed, more, more exposure, a lot more exposure. So I, I, can, I can completely understand his move. This is, this is, this is yeah. normal. You're, you're, a, you're a football player. You want to. Play at the highest possible level, in, you know, in the, in the best team. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the best team we, 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 we can be involved with. So I, I can honest, completely understand his move. Yeah, I thought he was like ahead of his time a little bit because everyone like praises the Man City keeper as being that sweeper keeper. But Richard Wright was doing it back in two thousand, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But with Wrighty, I mean, he was he was this unbelievable, unbelievable goalie. You know, this shortstop. Is kicking and just everything, even uh, you know, on the training ground, you know, with finishing. Sometimes it just made a, 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 a kind of a competition, you know, one on one, one on one against him. You, you, you hardly score, you hardly score because he was just so good. He was just like yeah. a cat, you know, just his reaction, just unbelievable. We've got, we got a question for you in the comments here, Fabian. Are you drinking a mojito, Matt Stenard, our good friend? <laughs> 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 oh, it's a mint tea. It's a mint it's a tea. It's my tea. Uh, mint tea, mint tea. Good man. <laughs> We've actually got some footage here. We're talking about James Scowcroft, Matt. Yes. Yeah. It's a game against Leicester. It was on Sky, and yes. Martin's got some footage. He's going to load it up. And you put a great cross in. Was this 2-0? This, this is 2-0. 2, -nil two -nil. Marcus Stewart scored, and then Scowy yeah. got the second one with a diving header. I think yeah. Martin's going to play it in a minute. He was a good okay. player, Scoey, wasn't he? He was. I thought Scully, he was really yeah. underrated at ten. I think he was very, very much underrated. Yeah, very much underrated. So I did. Uh, he, he did very well for us. You know. Here we go. He scored up to forty points, I think, Rich. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Oh, what a cross! <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't miss, could he? Hey, there you are. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I was a great down. Cross, look at that! Oh, that's good though. Here it comes, First time. Here it comes again. Yeah, I remember, that. I remember that game really well. That took us to 40 points, which is always the magical mark of not getting relegated, wasn't it? That was the debut of Marcus Stewart's gloves, Matt, I think, that game. The gloves, really? the famous gloves. Yeah, the gloves. Yeah, he had the gloves <laughs> on. Oh, yeah, Mark, Mark Stewart, yeah. That was You're a cross. That reminds, that reminds me of a, of a fullback who plays now. Now, what are your thoughts, Fabian, on Trent mm. Alexander-Arnold? Yeah, you're from Liverpool. I mean, from Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. He's 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 he's, he's, oh, he's so good. I, I I really I really really rate him. You know, he's a very very good player, and not just this this season or last season. He's just, he's, he's he's been he's been like that for I think for the last three or four five five years, three three four years. Yeah, yeah. He's been very good. Why are you asking? 
I just that, that cross reminded me. That was like, that was like, that was like Trent walking one and him balls in. Yeah. <laughs> that could have been no, Trent Alexander-Arnold no, no. in a blue blue town kit, Matt. That could have been. Yeah, no, but he's, he's, he's a quality player. He's going to be a quality player. I, I would love to see him again, you know, play against Real, Real Madrid, by the way, on the 28th. Yeah, of course. Be interesting so. to see. We, we, one thing we've struggled this season, Fab, in League One, is putting decent crosses in. Was it something as a fullback and a wing back that you would practice a lot on the on the training ground to put those good yeah. balls in, like you did for Scully? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, so, so certain exercises, you know, certain training sessions, you know, you had to put in a lot of crossing, especially from the fullbacks. Yeah. From because uh, I, I was also playing a uh, wing back. It's like Jamie Jamie Clapham was playing on the left side, and I was playing okay. on the right side. So me and Jamie had to, had to whip and cross it every time, non-stop. And, and then the, the strikers or, or the midfield players, they were just running running into it. But it's something, something you know, we can't practice, you know, uh, more uh, at the training ground, yeah. We've Is there a lot of pressure being a, a wing-back? Because I guess, you know, you've got you've got to be there for the defence and yeah. you've got to be up there to support in the attack. So you've got, you're, you're, you're in both halves each time, aren't you? Yeah, well, I was quite happy because in the Championship, we were playing, I was playing as a wing-back. We were playing like a three-five-two system, system, and in the Premier League we were playing more like a regular four-four-two. I was yeah. quite happy. I was quite happy with that role actually, because as a wing back, this is, what, this is, this is like you said, you have to you have to go up at attack, but also you have to go down to defend as well. And then yeah. the whole game, the whole game round, you know, for ninety minutes, and after the game, it was just like oh, this just hurt carrying me up. We got so wing back at town at the minute, Fab. We got wing back at, the, at town at the minute called Wes Burns. And he yeah, scored 12 yeah. goals this season. No, 13 goals he scored this 13, season. 13, I think it was. Was, yeah, it was. As a wing back. Wow. Where's Burns? Well, he, he's a, he was a right-sided midfielder and he yeah. he does sort of... He plays more forward, you'd say, Matt, because we've got a, a yeah. lad called Genoa Danassian plays. We play three mm-hmm. at the back. Mm-hmm. But he, he can play right back and he plays that third centre-back on the right and he yeah. they dovetail beautifully yeah, down yeah. that right Really good. Well, Burns is good. He, he's like you, Fab. He's, I mean, not defensively minded as you, but in terms of getting forward and getting balls in. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The same, yeah. Yeah. No, it's, 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 a, it's a real shame because I can't, I can't find any footage of of, of League One games uh, at all. Or you, or you, or you have to go on, on the internet or something. You know, but but this, yeah. so normal, normally, if you can't find any any footage, you know, in, in Holland, then eh? I'm talking about in, talking about in Holland, you, you, you can find footage of obviously Premier League. Uh, you know, even the championship, but for League One, you can't do So, this is very difficult. Yeah, yeah. Did you now because it's just your season's finished now, Fabian? Even though the Premier yeah, League, yeah, is it's going, finished. Yeah, yeah, our season's finished. Did you, did you kind of like, you know, you'd go on holiday, have a few drinks, and that was it difficult to get back into the swing of things in terms of getting your fitness back to what it was supposed to be when you came back for pre season? Um, no, I think. Um, as, 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 a, as, a, as a sportsman, as an athlete, you kind of know what, what, you, what you can do, what you can't do, and what you, yeah. what, what you can eat and what you can't eat. Um, I never really let myself go, you know, uh, during the summer summer period, you know, because I knew that if I would let myself go, I have to work even harder to get fit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, no. I, in, my, in my first year in in uh, in um, how do you call it? in uh, in in England, I just. You know, after a long season, I just let myself go. But then my very my first uh, uh, pre-season uh, training in, uh, in, in in the UK, oh, I was dying. I was absolutely dying. <laughs> because I, I, I think I put on um, uh, something about seven or eight kilograms. I don't know how you put it in, in, in stones. It's like probably like uh, one and a half stone. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, one and a half stone. Yeah, one and a half stone, yeah, roughly. Uh, in, 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 in a space of... Um, Four weeks, and I was like, "Wow, this, 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 yeah, I know, I know." I just let myself, I just let myself go. I, just, I did nothing at all, nothing. I was just laying there, I was just eating and drinking. <laughs> and then and they do the precision time. I was thinking, "Oh my god, I'm dying." Yeah, I'm dying. pain. The yeah, pain. Yeah. Yeah. I was in agony. I was in pure agony. But uh, you, have... you know, you, you live and learn. You live and learn, and then oh. afterwards, like, no, never again, never again. Did you? Get... Did you ever go on holiday with any of the, t- the town lads? Did you have like time away all together, or did you just go back to your family at, at the end of the season? Uh, most of the time, I just went, went, went back home to my family because uh, uh, in the UK, we we you hardly hardly have a break because even in the winter period, you know, yeah. you've got Boxing Day, you've got New Year's yeah. Day uh, games, and you, you have you, you, you've got no winter break. So you, this is from August onward till till May, the end end of April, beginning of May. 
he just played non-stop. So in the, in the summer, you know, just uh, he always went back home to Holland to see the family, see my see my brothers, my sisters, you know, my parents. So it was nice to, to, to just to come to go back here, see all my friends here. Did and you then, like uh, the Christmas obviously. period of games? Did how, how did that like Christmas uh, day? What, what would the Christmas day be for you? Did would you go into training and go home have a little bit of dinner, open some presents? Uh, normally in Holland or, or in the UK, you mean? Oh, uh, both. Yeah, both. Okay. Um, uh, well, in Holland we got a winter break, so yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's probably like four days before the before Christmas. You know, we just, just, just get a winter break, and then we're gonna start training again on the second or the third of January. So that's fine. So you get a week a week for a week to yourself or a week and a half to yourself, where you can wake where you can just chill out, relax, enjoy, enjoy Christmas, enjoy your New Year, you know, with the family, special, special, special quality time. And in the UK, um, yeah, there was a time as well where uh, we had a away game, I can't even remember, uh, on Boxing Day. And then I think we left also uh, on, on Christmas, uh, the day before on Christmas, yeah. And I was like, okay, I haven't got any time to, to celebrate Christmas, you know, with the family at all. Yeah. And that was quite something new to me. But the players who were playing here, place from the UK, they, they, were, they were kind of used to that. But for me, it was something something, something new. And also with uh, uh, New Year's Day, <laughs> I think it's, it's a great day for the fans, but for, from a player's point of view, to, 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 to celebrate New Year in a hotel with, with your roomie, and you think for 12 o'clock, okay, happy New Year, happy New Year, okay, I'm, I'm going to bed now, bye, bye. <laughs> yeah, there you're gone. Yeah, you another for, day. Is it a New Year, is it, is it the way you want to, you want to, um, um, Go in, in, into the new year. It's just, it's, it, it was just weird. It was just strange. It was really strange yeah. compared to you know what I was used to. So, hold on, I'm just going to turn the light on. Hold on, you have a minute. Hey. Hold on. So Martin's got another goal here, mate. We've got up. another goal. Great stuff. Yeah, yeah, we've got another goal lined up here, Fab. Is it better? Okay. Yeah, another yeah. goal. We've got another yes, goal. Another goal. One, of your, oh. yeah. one of the six. This is another oh, Premier yeah. League goal. It was a Monday night football. Coventry. Coventry. We're talking about crosses. You're talking about crosses, Matt. Martin Royster puts this lovely ball in. Look at this. 90th minute. What are you doing in the six-yard box in look the 90th minute? Oh, no. Striker. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, unbelievable. I remember oh, celebrating God. that one as well, watching that on TV, going crazy. Well, the thing is, you know, if, if you rewind it like 50, 10 seconds ago, I was uh, I was, I was making a challenge. Yeah. That's, that's, why, I, that's why I was somewhere over there. Yeah. I think this ball, yeah, this ball. There you go. There we go. Yeah, there okay. it is. And then obviously I stay there. <laughs> yes, you okay, won that. There. Yeah, nice. I, I kept going, kept going. I was, I was in a box. Great cross from Martin. That was a great and, uh, cross. Wow. <laughs> dive together. There you go. <laughs> oh, so oh, earlier, yeah. great show. So, so for the people in the comments earlier, so Mark mm -hmm. Dowling, who we know lives in Ireland, comes on here. Yeah. And I, I told Fabian before we went on air. That goal coincided with Judith Keppel. Does anybody in the comments know what Judith Keppel done on that day? I will give you two minutes. And if anyone gets no Google, you're not allowed to Google because <laughs> if you suddenly put it up, I know that you've been on Google. But what did <laughs> Judith Keppel? And she was the third cousin, Matt. I didn't notice of Camilla Parker Bowles. Really? Roll really? Links. Roll links. What did she do? On that day, okay. it was a great day. Here we go. That was a, ho that was a horrible game. I remember watching it on Sky. Yeah. I mean, there was, there there was a, probably the Ray worst. From game Portsmouth was... is straight in. Look, millionaire and she won the first, yes. and she's the only, still now the only female to win. Who wants who to be a millionaire? Be a millionaire? I was reading yeah. earlier, Matt. Female, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was I, the I, first, she was divorced twice, Fabian, and yeah. she hardly had any money. And she oh, went on there oh, and she oh, won a million her. pounds. Oh, oh bless her! No, this is really good and really good. Yeah, I, I, I felt like I felt like you just like that goal that you scored against Coventry. I I felt like a millionaire and that went in. I was jumping around like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but how, how, how many people have, have, have won a million? Then uh, you know, with, with oh. the, you know. Oh, if anyone's million, in the like comments, you. if anyone's in the comments, you can you can use Google you can now. Google for that one. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a funny question. Yeah, because uh, I'm just curious. <laughs> it was it was that goal, Fabian. That those, those kind of wins that was yeah. why we got to fifth. I yeah. think we finally dug it I mean, out. If, if, like if, if, even, even with scruffy games and horrible games, and there was nothing in there, nothing at all. It was, it, I, I can remember it was a Sky game. 
Monday yeah. Live Monday night, yeah. Sky. And uh, there were two teams we were kind of didn't didn't play in a way. But still, we still we got a result out of it. You know, a great result out of it actually in in a, in a, in a dying dying minute of the game. So yeah, it's just, everything went away this season. It's just unbelievable. Even games like this, and also a game I can remember. Uh, you know, Enfield away. You know, Liverpool. Oh. No one, no one would have yeah. thought that we got a that we got a result out of there. You know, Enfield, one Liverpool. Eh? Liverpool, we're talking about now. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I mean, beat them one 0 So. This is unbelievable, but then again, the year after we could be in a six 0 and we got relegated. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say everything you said there. Like we got all the luck in that first season. Yeah, yeah. Second season, everything just went wrong, didn't it? For yeah. whatever reason, it just like fell apart a little bit. Like for some of the reasons you said earlier, like I, 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 I thought you before, time. you know, that's probably one of the one of the reasons why we didn't we didn't get go in the season. It's just just the expectations uh, uh, level went up as well. So and. Um, Maybe form. Uh, don't know. Does this everything we won went nine to, away uh, games, Fabian? That first season in the Premier League, nine, nine. away games we won. That's unbelievable. Nine, really? Yeah, that many. Nine. Yeah. Whew. Wow, that's a lot actually. Because, because, because we, we, we you, you, you got twenty teams. You're playing. Okay, nineteen games. Wow, nine away. It's very good. Yeah, very nine good. away wins. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. I remember on being on the train because yeah. we went from Stansted to Bologna. And then we went from Bologna up to Milan for the Inter game. And, my, yeah, and my, yeah. mate, my mate Glenn goes to me, Matt, I feel like we could get relegated this season. I was like, what? <gasps> There's loads of season left there. But when did you when did you as a collective, as a team, start to think we're, we're in a bit of trouble here in terms when of relegation? George, when Josh Burley didn't play me anymore this season, second year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That was the... <laughs> simple, simple. <laughs> I think yeah, he, he, wrote, he wrote in Chris, Chris Macon, a great yeah. guy, by the way, really, really good guy. And um, I hardly played. And yeah, I don't know. Even even when we were just losing, 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 and still, I, I, he didn't play me. I don't know why. Yeah. And uh, that is for me then, <laughs> the reason why we got relegated. But that is my reason. <laughs> Was it another thing that, look, Marcus Stewart obviously got them goals in the first year. He got injured, didn't he? He broke his jaw. Yeah. yeah. It was another thing, Fabian, playing on a Thursday in Europe mm -hmm. and then having to play on the Sunday. Did that have an effect as well, do you think? Um, let me think. Yeah, probably, because we, we, we were kind of used to it. You know, oh, but also, you must under, underestimate, you know, the travelling. And now nowadays, you think, you know, if you look at, Teams like Liverpool, City, you know, when they play Champions League games, you know, when they play, and then then they play the, also for the national for the national team. Players they, they keep travelling, oh, you know, uh, non-stop. But if you're used to it, then then it's fine. But we, we were kind of used to it, so this mm. probably probably also a reason why why we didn't why we didn't do so well. And also, if you're kind of in a great form, then everything is a lot easier. But if 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 you if you're not performing so well. And, you, and you, you know you, you get distracted by playing in Europe, playing for the for the for the League Cup, for the FA Cup. You know that doesn't help for, for the, the, the games in the, in the league. So we 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 had a really poor start, but then we won seven out of eight, didn't we, Matt? Over Christmas yeah. into the new yeah. year, and there, yeah. there was two games. We lost six 0 to Liverpool, and then we lost three one to Southampton. Now Martin, he'll be on it. He'll come on at the end because he's got some questions to ask. <laughs> he always tells me and Matt. They should have sacked George Burley. We should have made that yeah, yeah. change. After that Sunderland game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Southampton game, sorry. Southampton instead, game. Of, instead of holding on to him, and then obviously George went like not for, not long into the season when we went into the first division. Yeah. In hindsight, do you think they David Sheepshanks could have made a change of manager, Fab, then? I think so. But then again... Is that if... just because you wanted to play? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 have, to, I have to be realistic. I, I mean, the problem was, Josh Burley, he, he became the manager of the year the season before. Yeah. He did, yeah. yeah. You know, and it's, it's really hard then to just to, 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 to second manager, you know. We, we just became, became the manager of the year. You've you, you played, you've played in, in a club history, probably, you know, the, the, the best the best season, you know, in, in decades. Yeah. And then you, you, you're going you're gonna to kind of set, set the manager the year after, you know. So, yeah. And I think the club kind of kept his faith in Josh Burley, perhaps a little bit too long, 
And yeah. then when, when, yeah, I mean, it was probably too late then, you know. Just look, just look at Burnley now, Rich. Look at Burnley well, now. They got rid of Sean Dyer, didn't they? About Leicester. Look at Leicester when they won the Premier League under Claudio yeah. Ranieri. Yeah, I know the year was it. Football's changed, hasn't it, Fab? From back when that was this was twenty years ago. We're talking about now. If that had been yeah. George Burley now, and yeah. you were struggling, there's no yeah. doubt he would have been sacked. He would have been sacked a long, long yeah, time ago. Long time ago, I think so too. Yeah, I think so too. But then again, it's it, it was different times. You know, yeah, different times. definitely different times. So yeah. I mean. I mean um, uh, chairmen or owners of clubs, they're kind of uh, impatient. They want to, they want to have yeah. an instant result, instant result. I can understand in a in a sense that they put a lot of money into the into the team, into the, into the manager, and into everything. So they want to see something, some, something in return. But sometimes I'm thinking, this thing, okay, you have to find the right balance. Okay, am I going to take the manager? What the, what what's going to be next then? Or I, I'm going to keep the faith in the manager and maybe you can still turn it around. It's difficult. It's a, it's a fine line, you know. Mm. For that, it's a really fine line to say, okay, you it's, know, keep, get, get rid of him or, or keep it. Obviously, after we got relegated at Anfield and like it was the end of the season, it's the summer, and then you all go away on your holidays. You were once Premier League players, and then you've gone back to being first division players. I mean, how, does that sit in your mind a long time, or do you just can you could, can you shut it off, or do you think to yourself? Shit, we've been relegated. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to change it around now. Uh, we were playing in a championship, you know, for a long, long time ago, for a long, for a long while. Uh, before, before we, we, we got in, got, got promoted to the Premier League. We, we had a, we had a, we had a play of games against Bolton. We had a final, you know, against Barney. We got promoted to the Premier League, and then that pre-season, that pre-season, I can still remember. I was like, wow. I'm now a Premier, I'm now a Premier League player. Yeah, and uh, it, it, yeah. It, it goes through your head, you know. And they're like, yeah. "Wow, okay, I'm a Premier League player, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run even harder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run even faster." And I was just giving giving in my all every each and every training. I was thinking, "Okay, Fabian, you're a Premier League player. Get the best out of you. Get the best out of yourself. You know, push yourself a little bit harder." And it, 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 in a way, it does make it make a click in your head. For, okay, you know, it's it's, it's going to be a, a different different standard, different level of football. So you have mm -hmm. to be better than better than better than they ever were before and that way i can understand it and the other way around when we got relegated i was just disappointed that that that, that, that i didn't play you know that, that often you know in 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 the premier league the second year and yeah. that, that was my 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 kind of uh, uh um yeah how, how how i look back you know at that season so it was really really strange well, i suppose now matt with, with regards to like when we went down we went into administration yeah, but now Fabian, if you get relegated from the Premier League, like like Norwich, right? We'll talk about mm -hmm. them soon. We're coming to them. <laughs> Norwich are your team oh, that God. Norwich are your team that will go down. They'll come back up, but but they get them parachute payments, Matt. Now, and if yeah. you look at if you money. look probably over the last ten years, yeah. teams that have been relegated and teams that are promoted, there's not many teams, Fabian, that are different than the team. They're the same teams who go up and down because yeah, I know you're getting I know. that money. Yeah, I know, I know. Is it? In a way, you know, it's it's it's, it's, so, it's so, so unfair because, you know, the gap between championship teams and the Premier League teams, you know, will gone up and gone down, go up and down. It's 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 huge, it's huge, and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger each year. So, yeah, but what can you do about it? Because when you make a from to the Premier League, you okay, you gotta you got a lot of money to spend, you know, to the, to the squad. And uh, you think of okay, you know, uh, 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 the squad is getting bigger. You got you know, more expensive players, so you, you know the, the salary is going to go up. You know, uh, for for all the players, Every, everything is going up. Okay, then you get relegated. You, you can still got an umbrella, but yeah. the gap between the, the gap between that and, and and the championship is still huge, huge. That so is, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's it's not fair, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, look, let's move on towards that Norwich game, Rich. And Joe Royal, <laughs> Joe Royal is now in charge, Fabian. How is he different to George in different in terms of managerial style? Joe Royal. Um, Joe Royal. Um, Joe Royal. Yeah, he's he's he's, 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 he's he's Yeah, I love him. I love Joe Royal. <laughs> yeah. He was just so so laid back and so chill. Uh, also, in in his team talk, he was just like. In a, in a, in a way, he, he didn't he, did, he didn't say that, but in a way, he said, just "Go out and enjoy yourself. Go out and express yourself. You know, you know, you are good players. Just show it, show to show to to your fans, show to everyone. You know, so everyone's watching." 
And Joe, Joe Rowe gave a lot of confidence, you know, to players, especially to me, because uh, um, the first the first time, you know, when uh, when the club signed Joe Rowe, he was talking to to all the players, and he also he also had a word with me. He said, "Okay, you know what? I know your history. You know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start from scratch. Okay, okay, everyone's gonna get is gonna get a chance to show me how good you are. You know, and that, that, that was exactly his words. You know, to show me how good you are, and he gave me a chance and I took it with both hands, and since since then I always look look forward, never look back. They, they were great years, the Joe Roy years, weren't they, Rich? I mean, we scored so many goals. Remember yeah. the approved six four mental yeah. game. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, Joe Joe Roy was a manager. You know, he, he liked to play it's very uh, effective. You know, very attacking. Yeah, and his 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 motto, it kind of his way of thinking was more like, okay, you know, as long as you score one one more goal than the opponent, then it's fine by me. You know, then he's happy. <laughs> Yeah. We've, got, we've got the Norwich goal ready. Yeah, it's coming. Come on, then. Everyone's going to love this. Were you at this game, Matt? Did you go to this game? I wasn't at this game. I think, was he on Sky? I seem to recall watching it. Yeah, it's on a Sunday. I was there with yeah. my mum. What's the Sky? Mom? Yeah, what's the Sky? What's the Sky? What's the Sky? In Bowditch. Do you know? Here it comes. Just it. Straight in the corner. Chest it down beautifully. And then straight over to the fans. Look. Yes. <laughs> So, someone's, someone's pulled his hemi there. Yeah, Craig <laughs> Fleming's hamstring went. Oh, no. What was that like then, scoring in front of the Barkley end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, something special. Something very special. Because um, I knew um, about uh, the issues in Norwich, you know, the, you know, that the, 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 the defence, you know, that it's also, also a little bit of banter between those two. two yeah, two, the uh, rivalry. Mm. <laughs> the rivalry, the big rivalry yeah. against the, those, yeah. two, those two clubs, and um, yeah, to, to score score that goal, you know, uh, away at Carroll Road, it was uh, it was something special, very very special. So we, we have... Fast forward, Matt. We'll go to two thousand four. Now we might as well while we're on about Norwich. So mm-hmm. they beat us three one that season, mm-hmm. and this is what you said. Fabian said Norwich weren't good enough to top the table. Yeah. Wouldn't survive in the Premier League, and unless they signed fifteen new players, they'd be relegated by Christmas. One the great interviews, man. Brilliant. I know, I know, I know. But okay, if you watched the game against Norwich that, that day, yeah, yeah, where, where we where we lost three three one, everyone was thinking about after the game in person. Everyone was thinking, about, what happened? We were so good. We were just on top of them, yeah. And we, we, we were kind of dominate, dominating the game. But still, they, they came out as a winner, and it was just, yeah, we, we just couldn't believe it. We just couldn't believe it. And that was that was kind of the, you know the way uh, with Norris each and every game uh, that season, everything went their way. And it's just like it's probably similar than uh, to when we were in the Premier League the first year. But then again, in Premier League, in the Premier League, we also played more good football. But uh, yeah, but no, they were they were just grinding results out each and every each and every game, mm. and it was just kind of a bit frustrating. And you know, after the game, you just still pumped up. You know, everything <laughs> is going to your veins, and you're just disappointed, and you're angry, and you're, you're tired, and everything is going to your head. And then uh, one of the reporters say, uh, you know, came over to me and said, "Okay, what do you think of Noah? Is it going to go up? And you know, what do you think they're going to do next, next year in the Premier League?" And I just spoke my mind. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, he was honest. I, spoke, I actually spoke what I, was, what I was thinking. And sometimes you have to think first, count to 10, and then answer the question. <laughs> but I was just, you know what, sort it. I'm just going to say what I think. I, I, I think that indeed you even more to the Ipswich fans. Fabian. That's why you've got that so much love today because yeah. of that interview, I think. I know, He's like, I know, he was one I of us. You know what I mean? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure if it was, if it was the right way to, to, uh, to answer because, uh, I, uh, you know, afterwards I got a lot of. Uh, a lot of mail in my mailbox uh, at the training ground. You know, every player got a, got a, got a, got a little mailbox. Oh, okay. Even mail, you know, got mail from, from the fans, you know, to yeah. sign, sign autographs or whatever. And I got a lot of mail from, you know, uh, in my box. I went, okay, who knows that? And send it to Norfolk, Norfolk. I went, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to repeat. I'm not going to repeat what uh, what kind of mail I, I received from, uh, from, uh, from uh, the fans. Hey. They weren't Isha Town fans. <laughs> Let me put it that way. And, and, and they weren't nice letters now. Well, we, we, I guess we're getting towards the end here now, Fab. You've given us so much time. I, I want to quickly touch, Rich, on 
what was it like to play under Jim Majilton? Because obviously Jim gave you a, a, a contract, yeah. but he went from being your teammate to yeah. the gaffer. I mean, how was that a culture change to you? That was weird. That was really weird. Really, really strange that season, especially the first year. Um, because I've been playing with Jim for seven years. Yeah. Uh, he was my neighbor. He just lived around the corner. And I, I, at the time, I knew his wife, I knew his children, my, my daughter and, and his sons. They were going to the same same school. Oh, and wow. They were, they, were, they, were, they were just playing together. And then all of a sudden, he's, he's, your, he's your manager. You have to get to, get to call him Gaffer. And I'm like, huh? Yeah, he's, he's a little bit weird. Yeah. For me, he's, he's still Jim. But no, yeah, you have to get to call him Gaffer. And it took me probably a month or even longer before they were saying, okay, listen, you can't, you can't call him Jim anymore. He's, he's the Gaffer now. <laughs> Yeah. I know. And that was that was really strange. But um yeah, I think it was probably also for him, you know, um um yeah, difficult because we 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 knew each other for for so such a long yeah. time. And then uh, I, I mean I was, I was I was happy for him, you know, I was the first one to, to congratulate him, you know, when he got a job. And I just just I was just over the moon. But then I didn't I didn't realize at the time that, that it would be so different and so difficult uh at first. But after a while, you just get used to it. Yeah. But it was it was strange in the beginning. Yeah, I must I must admit it was really really strange. Yeah. Did a lot of players find it difficult to adjust to that relationship change? I don't think it was it was uh, the other players. You know, I don't think they they kind of found it difficult. But for me, I had a different relationship with him. Yeah, of course. We, we were we were, we were neighbors. We were just neighbors. Yeah. Also, when he was the manager, we were still neighbors. <laughs> and I was like, sometimes he, 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 he didn't, he didn't, he didn't put me in the team, and then and I was like, I was driving home, and then he came after, he came after, and I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, what? <laughs> and it was this strange, yeah, situation at the time, and yeah, that's yeah. why it took, it took, it took for me personally, it, it took me a, uh, a bit, a bit longer to just adjust in the role that he was, he was your manager now, but uh, yeah. now he's he's, 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 he's done a great job and. He's a great guy. Every every now and again, here, every now and again, I still speak to him. But uh, yeah, Jim, Jim, Jimbo. So he says, you know, he's, he's, he's he okay. was quite an emotional guy, wasn't he, Matt? Yeah, he was. Yeah, so, obviously on the pitch, he was emotional, Jim, because you yeah. could see yeah. he was playing. Yeah. How did that? Did that change when he was a manager, or did no. he still got worse? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my God! Sometimes in the dressing room, you know. Um, yeah, he, he, he can he can get very, very uh, direct. Let me put it that way. Yeah, I'm <laughs> or sure. in your face. And he's also something you know. He just if if you made a mistake, he just tells you in front of the whole group. You know, you you made you made a stupid mistake or whatever. And oh, Larry. yeah, he's he's, <laughs> he's he's very direct. And, and yeah. he's, I don't want to I don't want to don't wanna call it emotional. You know, it's it's more like he's Jim is Jim. He's you know, it's Irish. He's like fry wings. Yeah, of course. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, his, his appointment came out of the blue, didn't it? Because Joe Roll left, and we'd already said goodbye to Jim retiring, and yeah. then within a couple of months, he's back as the manager, wasn't he? It was, it was yeah. a weird, it was a weird time. Yeah, because Jim, it was strange because at the time, you know, Joe Roll was gone, and I think he also discussed it with me uh, uh, that he said he's going to apply for the for the East Town job, and I said, yeah, just, just go for it, and. So I kind of knew that he was probably thinking, thinking of applying for the job. Yeah. And um, but, but, but what I heard from the interview, he, he had a great, great presentation. Uh, yeah. His presentation, his interview was just fantastic. He, he blew the whole board away. And that's why he got a job. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this, this, this Jim is, um, I, 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 think, I think he's done well. For his first time. He thinks he's done really well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like yourself, Fab, an absolute legend in the blue. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Jimbo. Yeah, it's not let's, let's uh, Rich, we go. Should we go to some questions for the last few minutes? I've got one. I've got one here. So go for it. Not, not really town related. It's from uh, on Twitter. Football, yeah. football for brains, Fabian. They're, they're, oh my, oh my the guy, God. He's, got, he's got a quiz book, and he's um some money goes to supporting dementia. So he just wants to ask you, Fabian, if heading of the ball when you played was it a concern to you? When you played football, because obviously dementia now in football, really head injuries, okay. big thing in the UK, Fabian. Yeah, it's really a big. Thing. Oh no, I've, I've yeah, yeah, yeah. Here in Holland, 
Um, no, no, never, never, uh, never to steal. But that, that 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 could damage anything, you know. But no, no, it wasn't really a big thing now. So I'm I'm, I'm surprised to hear it now actually yeah. because I knew that in in the UK. I think for children under 12 years, they weren't allowed to head to head a ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, can, I can understand that. But for, for grown ups or for adults, I don't know. It wasn't normally, it's, just, it's not really a problem. Did you like heading the ball? When you, when you played, did you like heading the ball? Because you yeah, played second yeah. off sometimes, didn't you? you? You played in the middle as. Um, yeah, but. Yeah, I mean, when, when you're a defender, you, you, you must head a ball. Because otherwise, yeah. you know, there's no point to, 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 to play at the back. When you're a defender, you, you must have a ball because, you know, sometimes, you know, you get high balls, you must go in for the challenge. And if you don't like to have a ball, then, yeah, you should probably don't, don't play at the back then. I, I tell you what, before we get into the questions, Rich, yeah. we've got, we've found your debut goal, Fabian, at Swindon. Mike, oh. Mike if you've got that, let's, let's uh, yeah. take a look at that one. Here it comes. I don't think I've ever seen it. Probably Here we go. Look at this. This game, we had fans at both ends of the stadium. We're behind both goals here. <laughs> oh, good. Here it comes. Move. That's a good what finish. Oh, 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 oh. It's celebration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good move. Good. <laughs> can, can, can you rewind it a little bit? Yeah. Got, here we come. In, you know, straight in. Oh, oh, lovely. Lovely. in. Yes, get in there. <laughs> 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 left back. Trilled it. Do you know, Matt? Who was in goal for Swindon that day? He's a really famous goalkeeper, but not for playing in goal. He scored a really famous goal once. Oh my god! I could remember the manager was Jimmy Quinn, but I don't know. I don't know who the keeper was. This is Jimmy a, Glass. Trivia question. Jimmy Glass. I don't know. Fabian, put when when you come off here, put Jimmy Glass into, into YouTube. He yeah. played for Carlisle. <laughs> He was on loan at Carlisle in the last game of the season. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper. And they, need, and they needed a goal to stay up. And he went up for a corner. This is literally the last game of the season. They need to win <laughs> to stay up. And he scored really? from the corner. And he never played for Carlisle again. He just he was on loan to him. <laughs> no. Like yeah. Film, it? It's like a film. <laughs> yeah. And all the fans run on the pitch. They all run yeah, on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> right. Martin, what's the first question we've got as we, as we run down on time here? What have we got? Do, so Sharon Guest says, Fabian, do, do you still play at any level? How fit are you? Oh, um, I, I play for Spotify, Spotify Fetch every now and again. Okay, nice. So I'm, I'm uh, you know, with, with uh, the 40 plus team. And I'm, I'm, still, I'm still okay. I'm still okay. I can't complain. Um, every now and again, I, 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 I play my little game. And I'm also coaching the under 18. So every, and sometimes I also play with, 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 with my boys. So they, they, they're kind of keeping me fit and young. <laughs> Nice. Are I'm, you I'm, 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 I'm still, I'm still fit. I'm still uh, fairly fit. Yeah. You, enjoy, you enjoy being a coach? Yeah, I love it. I really love it. Next season, I'm going to do 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 the on the twenty on the twenty threes. Oh, brilliant! That's so, Sparta. Yeah. Sparta. Yeah, yeah. In in Holland, it's, it's on. A, oh, sorry, in Holland, in the UK, it's on the twenty ones, and here in Holland, it's on the twenty three. Yeah. yeah. Great stuff. Town manager one day, Fab. Town manager yeah. one day. <laughs> Butter. Town manager well, one you day. You never know. You never know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Knows, you, you never know. We've got, we've got a question from Colin. We call Colin the GOAT, Fabian, the greatest of all time because he's been going for so many years. And he, he sent me a photo earlier of him when he was 24, he's 65 now, with Arnold Muren and Franz Tyson. We're going to show the photo a little bit later. What do you think of those pair of legends, Arnold Muren and Franz Tyson? Like you said, they were trailblazers, weren't they, really? Yeah. I suppose yeah. Dutch players coming to the UK. Well, the thing is, you know, Arnold Muren and Franz Tyson, I've never actually watched them play. Uh, Apart from you know from footage you know uh, uh, when I was playing for Istanbul at the time, but I've never actually watched them play for Istanbul. Plus, I watched them play for uh, uh, for Holland. Yeah, of course. But uh, they they were unbelievable, man. They they've done so well for the for the club. Um, they uh, they they got us the, the the European Cup. So yeah. this is something you know, that, that, that that they will never forget, you know, and that uh, you know and so forth. But uh, great great players. Great, very intelligent players, by the way. And, and Muren put that ball in, didn't he, from Van Basten? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, like yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> there it is. Van, Van Basten. <laughs> Van Basten. What a goal that was. Yeah, nice one. Look, nice I one. wouldn't say the ball from Arnold Muren was like, made the goal, Matt. It was and a great goal. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. But, but the, the thing is, you know, in, 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 uh, you know, I know what you're talking about against Russia in 88. Um, you know his folly from an unbelievable angle. How can yeah. how can he go get, get the ball from, in the goal from there? 
It's unbelievable. Ben Destin, great player, great player. It was crazy. We've got another question here from Coxie. Town played Gillingham at Portman Road in 2005, and you and Roberts, who, who played for Norwich, yeah. went in hard on you early. Do you remember that, Fabian? Should it have been a red, not a yellow? Do you remember that? No, I can't. I can't remember that now. 2005. Yeah, it's going back a bit now, and it look 17 Ooh. years. No, 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 no. No, I don't remember Did that one. No, sorry. Gillingham. Yeah. How Rob Smith? How come Fabian ended up at Gray's Athletic? After leaving Ipswich, yeah, that was when in Essex, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was Essex, yeah, yeah, it's true, yeah. Well, yeah. the thing was, um, I was supposed to um, 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 to go back home to Holland after yeah. my final year at Isistan. But then, uh, I mean, uh, the club granted me a testimonial, but it was not until the, the following season, and I had, I had to stay fit. And um, I was uh, supposed to uh, to play for uh, a local team. Um, what's it called again? Oh my God! Leiston. Leiston, yeah. No, oh, no, 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 not Leiston. No, no, not not Leiston. It was, it was a Leiston. No, I was supposed to play to play for the team, and at the final minute, I, I, I didn't decide. Uh, uh, Nina Market. I was supposed to play, play for Nina Market. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I decided for okay, and then Grace came in, and Grace was kind of still. Uh, uh, I think it was. Division, division two or or, or, or conference. Yeah, was, conference uh, they were. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was, sorry, it was conference. Yeah, it was, it was kind of decent level. And I was thinking, okay, if if I have to play my testimonial, I still want to be fit. You know, I still want to be playing on a decent, on a decent level. And it's the only reason why I said, okay, you know what, I'm going to play for Grace Athletics because because otherwise I was supposed to play for Needham Market or I was, wow. I, was, I was about to go back home to uh, to Holland. One of your teammates is manager down in Edenmarket now, Kevin Horlock. Oh, Kev! Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great, man. Oh, nice, nice one. <laughs> Colin uh, says, Colin says, who was your roommate, Fabian, at town? Who did you used yeah. to room with on the way days? Martin, Martin, of course. Of course, yeah, 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 it makes, it makes sense. It says it, Jordan screen scripts. Which, Fabian, will you return on the show, please, one day? Everyone's enjoying you on the show here. Fab, they're loving it. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Nick oh, Muller says, how big is the rivalry between Holland and Germany? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's like, uh, it's just Norwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's quite, quite similar. Yeah. It's, it's fairly big, yeah. But it's, it's also, it's also to, do with, to do with the war, you know, in, in 1940, 1945. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but it, it's kind of east, east off a little bit now, if I'm really honest. Do you, so, remember, the, do you remember the game in uh, Italia 90? Yeah. In the same Rudy, Villa. Like. Rudy Villa and Frank Rijkaard. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, Frank Rijkaard, he's, he's spitting his, spit in his, uh, in yeah, his hair. Yeah, he's there. I know, you. <laughs> well, one question I wanted to ask you, Fab, was because uh, you, of your Suriname heritage, and I know Hullet came from there, and I know Frank Rijkaard's father came from there. Were they kind of players that you looked up to and thought, wow, one day I, I could follow in their footsteps? Um. Yeah, especially especially with, uh, you know, with Rijkaard. Yeah, because Riker was also playing, you know, at, at the back, and Gullet was obviously obviously a striker. But in all fairness, I mean, I was just uh, I never thought that that I, that I would kind of made it into into the Premier League, because uh, of course you were playing in Holland, you know, a decent level in the Eredivisie. Yeah, and um, you know, you kind of thinking taking 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 everything at the time. But I, I, I was I was never ever thought of you know moving back over to England to play in, to play in the UK and get promoted to the Premier League. So it kind of happened as, as a surprise. Nice yeah, surprise. Yeah. Oh, so Daniel Hill. Daniel this Hill. Is this is fantastic. This question. Hey, Fab, my sister was in your daughter's class at primary school, and in 2006, you invited us all to her party at your house. I'd like to go to your party at your house. Yeah, I'd like to go to that. Yeah. <laughs> He said it was brilliant. Yeah, Appreciate it. I'm glad you're doing well. A town legend. Oh, bless. Oh, very welcome. Great oh, stuff. My, daughter, my daughters, they're, they're big now. They're huge. Oh, my God. So they're like 20, 20 21, and 25. Oh, wow. So they're not so small anymore now. But they're great. I think we've got time for one more question here, Fab. And we'll let you get on with your evening. Ooh. Coxie says, best town player you played alongside. Who was your favourite? You can't say okay. Martin Reuter. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, this is a tough one, and it might surprise you. But uh, when I just signed for Ishwastam, a young boy, Kieran Dyer, oh. he has 
Douglas cool. Kills was unbelievable was on the ball, of the ball. And he kind of, uh, he kind of impressed me, you know, with his, with his movement, with his skills. And that was probably, uh, even, even though, you know, I played with other, other players, you know, in the Premier League as well, I would still say Kieran Dara. Yeah. Wow. Good player, good player. I suppose he only played, um, he came in January and he went at the end of that season, didn't we? When we yeah, lost yeah, yeah, yeah. He only played for the half season with him. Half season, yeah. After that. Fantastic. So, yes. Good, good player, though. Good player, yeah. yeah. Well, here we go. Look, time has flown, Fabian. We've done 85 oh, oh, minutes. Oh, oh, it's already gone. Okay. We're done. We're there. We're there. We're going to leave. I know you're an hour ahead over there, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's already nearly... It's 10 o'clock now, yeah. I know. I yeah, know. yeah. Well, we, we thank you all for your uh, your time and your generosity to come and see us. It's been an absolute honour. No, Matt Rich, hey, listen. Thanks, thanks for having me, man. Thanks for having me. I had a great time. To uh, kind of reminisce back to the back to, back to yeah. those, those days, it's been a while ago, yeah. but uh, no, thanks ever so much for having me on uh, on the show. Yeah, brilliant. brilliant. I hope I hope you and Martin can come over together to Portman Road and we can meet you in person again. Oh, that, that, that would be great. Yeah, oh, that would be Next great. Next season, maybe. I, 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 would, I would love that. I would love that. I would love that. Yeah, really love that. great time, great yeah. stuff. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that on Fabian. It depends who we're playing, Matt, because some of these teams in the third division, you wouldn't enjoy <laughs> sitting there watching them because we don't. Maybe I'll tell you play, that. Maybe it, 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 that, that <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. No, it doesn't really matter, man. It's, it's fine. I would love to come out because oh. the thing is, uh, 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 last thing, I haven't been to Portman Road now for I don't know how long. Must be whew, eight years, six, wow. eight years, seven years. So it was a long, long while ago. So yeah. I would love to go over there again. Brilliant. Well, hopefully we'll see you soon. Yes, man. No. Then again, thanks, thanks again for having me, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks very much, Yes. Sir. Have a good one. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys.